Exactly. Awesome. So now you guys have been at the forefront of um, you know developing technology for Bitcoin, making it more user friendly for a while now. You've got some exciting things coming out in 2014. What's coming okay. up? So one of the other so so before 2014 and 2013, the holy grail of Bitcoin security was offline storage, offline exactly what we just talked about, yeah. and the idea that you can keep those that signing authority totally secure with but still make the system usable. Um, now we have something called multi-signature transactions, which have technically been part of the ecosystem for a while. It's just no one has built tools to make it accessible to people. And this is a mechanism whereby in Armory we call it lockboxes, where you can create a lockbox and it has multiple locks on it. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's basically either multiple devices or multiple people with different devices. And the network itself, the Bitcoin network itself, is kind of like programmable money. And you can program the network to say this money cannot move unless two of three of two of these three people have signed a transaction. Right. And right now, every wallet everywhere uses single signature transactions, meaning somewhere there's a private key, a signing pen, and anyone who has access to that pen can move the money. Whereas this creates a system where you can have people in different geographical locations combine public data and create a shared wallet that basically you put money into it and the only way to move it is if you have multiple parties or multiple devices signed. So you can use this for, I mean, the most the, the most important use is say a board of directors, you're holding a hundred million dollars for some company. You don't want a situation where any one director can run off with the money. Right. So you have maybe seven directors, you put seven keys in there, seven bank account numbers. And in order for that money to move, you need four signatures, any four. Right. And this is a concept that is so powerful, but it's also very complex. And to date, it's kind of evaded anyone innovating that because it's it's really some of the toughest. Uh, the concept is simple, but actually implementing an interface to, to, to bring this to people who don't know how to code and don't know how to go hex diving into you know super low level stuff. Uh, no one has done that yet. And just this weekend, we unveiled an, an interface that does that. Well, you're one of the first guys who have done that, yeah? So there are companies that have developed multi-signature transactions for their own applications. So for, for instance, for their own internal operations, they may use multi-signature transactions to make sure that their web server isn't sending too much money or you know, to protect certain things. But there hasn't been a general purpose solution where Joe Schmo can go out and just create multi-signature transactions for himself. Right. And that's what we've got. And when I, I mentioned the example about the board of directors, it doesn't have to be people. You can also use devices. You could have your phone and your computer, and you need a signature from both. Yeah. Or you could have a couple safe deposit boxes where you're really storing, you know, the most the, the the majority of your money, and you need to actually go visit two of those boxes and get signatures from them.